Hey guys, it's uh, early September and we've got Myrmica flying. So if you check it out here on the ground, uh, we've got uh, Myrmica getting sent up uh, by the workers. So uh, here, I'll switch the camera out so you guys can see. Now the ones right here in front of me, uh, they aren't mated yet. Um, and so what we wanna do now is we're gonna go take a walk around and have a look around to see uh, if we can find any mated ones. Now here I am uh, in about maybe 50 feet, maybe 60 feet away from that first nest. Uh, I just found a second smaller nest also sending up queens. So these two nests are probably mating. Now that I've found uh, the second nest, uh, I can try and uh, find where the join point is in the air and then where the fallout, uh, basically where the queens would be raining down. Um, and so that's gonna be the best spot to look. Now here I am uh, in the back corner of the property and we're only about 25 feet away from that original nest. And this right here is a section of unused garden and it's got this, um, this kind of loosely, uh, loosely planted gravel. Um, it's just kind of bad, uh, bad soil um, and what I'm doing is I'm just raking my fingers through it to disturb the soil. And then right here, let me switch it around. Right here, you can see I just disturbed a freshly landed queen. Now, picking them up is a bit of a chore, but you pinch the soil around them until you get them into your hand. Oh, fell down. There they go. All right, I can't really do this on camera by myself, but uh, you guys get the idea. I gotta catch some queens. So here I've already got three. I'm using my new ant catch bag. It's working out really well. I use these small little catch test tubes, and that way I can fit, uh, I believe it's 180 uh, test tubes. Um, it might be a little less than that. It's over 100 test tubes though. Um, in this bag because they're the, the shorter ones.
squirrel over there saying hi. So now that I've found uh, one of their main fall zones, um, I can just go through here and I'll gather up uh, as many as I can. Uh, there are hundreds and hundreds up in the air right now. Like if you just look up in the sky and wait for a second, you'll, you'll see, you know, 10, 20, 30 just flying by. Um, and uh, just in this little spot, I've already found about five, um, basically within an arm's reach of my body. Uh, just like tucked that that deep underneath the soil. So as I'm slowly working my way up the hill here, I happen to find one of these. Anyway, it's a Laceus queen. So super happy about that. End of the day, we ended up with 64 queens total. Uh, that was 60 Myrmica queens and four Laceus queens, which they're all right over there. Now it is the tedious process of putting them all into test tubes with water. A fair bit later, uh, everybody's all packaged up and good to go through the night. These are uh, semi-claustral, so I'm actually going to have to uh, build out a bunch of little containers for them to go get food out of. Um, either that or individually feed each one. Um, so, but... In the meantime, everybody's got water and will be A-OK -okay for a couple of days while I get that sorted out. Um, if you guys want to get some, uh, check out our shop at WashingtonAnts.com. Also, if you want the catch bag, uh, that is also available on our shop as well. Um, anyway, good luck ant, ant hunting, and uh, hope you guys find some. See ya.